Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can mark up a web page in Safari and save as PDF file on the iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro. So this feature is quite handy if you are doing homework and you need to take note uh, of the resources that you are reading online, then uh, this is what you have to do. So first I'm going to cancel what I'm doing right now and start at the beginning. So first, let's go back to your home screen uh, by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. Once you are back on the home screen, open up your Safari browser. And then you go to the web page that has the content that you would like to mark up. So here I'm in a Wikipedia website and I'm waiting on economic depression. And let's say I want to take notes or highlight some text in uh, this paragraph right here. What you want to do is tap on the share button in the navigation at the bottom. And then next tap on markup. Okay, once you're in markup mode, you can select a pen, a highlight. So I'm going to choose a highlighter. And let's say I want to highlight this first line in the first paragraph. Okay, so you can also tap on the highlighter right here and choose the different uh, size of the pen. You can also choose the transparency strength. If you go all the way to the right, then you have uh, no transparency at all, or very tiny transparency. As you can see, that's just basically cover the text. So if you want to have a light transparency, you can go down here and then you can highlight the text like so. Now there are pencil as well. You can choose highlighter and a different pen. Uh, if you tap on it, you can choose a different brush. You can choose a different strength. Okay, this is just an example. It's not perfect. And there is also an eraser. If you make mistakes, you can erase your mistake. And then again, if I tap on it once, I will select the, the pen. If I tap on it again, I will be able to choose a different um, stroke, a uh, different style right here and the strength. Okay, so that's the pen right there. Uh, there is also this kind of like a marker or selection tool type of pen. And then there is also a ruler. If you tap on the ruler, it will show us the ruler on the screen. You can kind of like turn the ruler by using two finger or a thumb and a finger and then you can turn around. So you can turn the ruler around. And you can also move the ruler up and down or sideways, depending um, how you place your ruler. Okay, there's also a color pick, uh, picker or color chooser that you can choose a color. And these tools here, they are quite, there's this selection tools right here. I'm just gonna turn off the ruler to make it easy. So I'm still in this, um, Selection tool mod. That's why showing that. And this pen, pencil. There's also a plus icon at the bottom here. If you tap on this add icon, there are text box that you can put into your text, like so. You can edit a text box. Hello. Okay, and I can move. Um, doesn't let me move the text box. So I think you have to move it. Uh, before that, once you, add, okay, you, so you can still move it afterwards, but you have to be in text mode. And here I can move the text box around. I can edit it. I can edit the text in the text box. Okay, I can duplicate. I can cut, copy, edit, delete and edit. Uh, there is different text I could choose. I can align the text where I want to align. I can make the text bigger or smaller and choose a different font style. I can change the color of the text. Okay, so that's the text box. And then you've got signature, magnifier. You can also show shape in your markup right here. Okay, so once you're done, you tap on this uh, markup icon at the top. Now there is also an undo or redo button at the top. So we can turn off and you can then scroll down the page 
so we're still in kind of like in markup mode and uh, you can scroll down the page here so we can go down the page and you can continue to markup your web page so if you want to return to the markup mode you tap on that button at the top and in here you can again continue to highlight the text and once you are done you tap on the done button so you tap on the done button and then tap on save file too and then in here you have to choose where you want to save your file so let's say i'm going to choose safari downloads and then tap on saved and now the file is safe so let's um, go back to the home screen and see if we can open up that file i'm going to open up the file manager on my device so i tap on files and then i tap on safari downloads and in here they should have a file that i have marked up so this one right here so if i tap on that you can see this file has been saved as a pdf document and if i tap on that let's see if i can get some info so info pdf documents right here you can see it say pdf document in safari with a date and time and some of other uh, information that you can view uh, within these documents and that's it quite um, straightforward uh, for you to mark up your web page and then save it as a pdf document and later on you can also print it out and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos